This improved version of Kia's third generation Seed has further sharpened its proposition in the Focus Class family hatchback segment, with smarter looks, extra technology and stronger standards of safety equipment. As before, value continues as a strong suit and there's an industry leading warranty. Potentially then, there's a lot to like here. There's always been plenty of potential here for a class-leading dynamic performance. The Seed has, after all, long had a more sophisticated suspension system than most rivals offer in their mainstream guises. Instead of the crude old torsion beam rear suspended setup you'll find on an ordinary Focus or Golf, this Kia gets the kind of more sophisticated multi-link rear damping system that Ford and Volkswagen Group rivals reserve for pricier, more powerful versions of their family hatchback contenders. And here, it's embellished with a kind of bespoke engineered handling setup you might not expect in this corner of the market. For this facelifted third generation model, Kia's largely left the setup alone, which is fine by us, as that was one of this hatchback's strongest aspects. The Seed is built on a stiff K2 series platform and garnished with feelsome power steering added by a torque vectoring system that helps to get the power down through the bends. The result is a slightly firmly suspended car, but one that we think you'll genuinely enjoy driving. If all that's of limited interest to you, then other Seed attributes will assume greater importance, like the fact that this is still one of the most refined cars in its class, something helped by the emphasis the Korean brand has put on reducing vibration from its latest generation range of engines, even the diesel ones. The latest version of the U3 Series 1.6-litre CRDI unit, which is only available in 134 brake horsepower form, is equipped as standard with 48-volt mild hybrid technology, making it a little smoother and a bit more efficient. Think 64.2 mpg on the combined cycle and 115 grams per kilometre of CO2. If your focus is on petrol power, then it's quite likely you'll be looking at the base three-cylinder 118 brake horsepower 1-litre TGDI unit, or possibly at the newer 158 brake horsepower 4-cylinder 1.5-litre TGDI power plant we're sampling here, which, now that the GT hot hatch variant has been discontinued, is the highest output powertrain available in the seed. On the diesel and four-cylinder petrol units, there's the option of a seven-speed DCT dual-clutch auto gearbox if you want it. The original version of this third-generation Seed was a very complete car, but it needed slightly more appealing packaging. Kia doubtless has that sort of thing very much in mind for this Mark III model's eventual replacement, but for the time being, this CD series design required a touch more pavement presence, delivered to some extent here as part of the facelift update. Hatches like these, of course, always look better with sporty trim, but with this one in particular, that makes all the difference. Here, we've got that top-spec GT line trim. If we'd chosen to test a base two-spec seed, you might have already switched off by now. Don't do that, because particularly trimmed like this, the seed is actually quite an appealing looking thing. From the side, you get more of a perspective for the bold shoulder line, something even more evident on the alternative sports wagon estate version of this model. Earlier, we referenced the facelift changes made here, which are most noticeable at the front, where the nose section is adorned by Kia's latest logo. Below that, the brand's usual Tiger nose grille gains satin upper and lower wing-shaped garnishes. At the rear, the surface between the LED combi lamps has been smoothed to accommodate this sleeker central brand emblem. And those lamps gain a smarter look on this GT line variant. 48 honeycomb shaped modules surrounded by a red frame. The LEDs in certain rows lighting up sequentially when the driver uses the turn signals. At the wheel, the extent to which you might be impressed with this car will probably depend on how far up the range you ventured with the version you're sitting in. Entry-level variants don't look very much different at all, but if you can avoid one of those, then your attention will be taken with this far more sophisticated 10.25-inch touchscreen satellite navigation central screen, which offers advanced Kia Connect media features and is a fresh addition as part of this facelift model spec. Lesser variants get a slightly larger 8-inch monitor and all seeds have a further small 4.2-inch colour trip computer readout between the two analogue dials in the instrument cluster. 
Getting comfortable is easy thanks to plenty of seat and wheel adjustment, along with lots of cabin storage space. And build quality from the Slovakian factory seems to be agreeably tight. Time to take a seat in the back. The original version of this third generation seat offered a useful step forward in rear cabin space compared to earlier models thanks to a 34mm increase in shoulder room. Even today, the total 1,406mm figure is still one of the best in the class. That, along with this notably low centre transmission tunnel, means that this Kia can more comfortably accommodate three rear adults and many of its segment rivals. We'll finish, as usual, with a look at the boot. Now, it turns out to be 395 litres in size. Up for the boxier sport wagon estate and the luggage area size grows to 625 litres, while on the stylized Proceed shooting brake model, it's 594 litres.